Thanks, Liam, for coming. Thanks, all right. Now we'll get started. I want to introduce our speaker, Joe Kwan. got a good meal. Yes. Yeah. My name is Joe Kwan. I'm a lawyer. <laughs> Super Harry Potter fan. Who knows what school this is? Uh, Hufflepuff. I think I heard someone say that. <laughs> and shameless consumer of self-help books. <laughs> so I'd like to thank the Hispanic Latino Network leadership as well as the Asian Pacific Islander Network leadership for asking me here today to talk about a topic that is near and dear to my heart, connection. So what do I mean by connection? Let's take a trip together. How many people do you think you meet in the course of an ordinary day? You get up in the morning, start your commute, maybe you pick up something, get into the office, you're gonna run into people in the hallway, in the break room, maybe in the restroom. Hopefully they let you out for lunch. <laughs> and then in the afternoon, it's lather, rinse, repeat, right? And then at the end of the day, you either head home or maybe you have some errands or social engagements. How many people do you think you meet over the course of an ordinary day? 100. All right, so hold that number in your head, okay? Now, I also want you to think about someone that you have a really great connection with. You, you click with them, right? So the conversation's always flowing, there's no awkward silences, and it doesn't matter whether it's been an hour, a day, or a week since the last time you saw them. You just pick up right where you left off. So do you have someone like that in your mind right now? Great. Now think about the feeling you have when you're around that person, right? Think about the good feeling you have. Now imagine you could have that same feeling that you have with that person to all the people that you meet during the course of an average week. How would that change the way you experience life? Let's take a quick survey. If folks could raise your hands, and depending on how you answer, you're gonna put your hand down or leave it up. So please, if you could, raise your hands, everybody. So how many people believe that if you do just your job at work, and nothing else, you will receive the recognition and rewards that you deserve. How many of you believe that? That's it, okay. And how many of you believe that if there's someone who disagrees with your point of view, all you need to do is give them the right data and they will automatically turn around and change their opinion, <laughs> right? Put your hand up if you don't believe that's true. But if you don't believe it's true, keep your hand up, keep your hand up. And how many of you believe that if you're in a position of leadership, right, so you lead a team, you could be a coach or maybe a parent, all you have to do is give clear instructions and people will always do what you want them to do. If you believe that, put your hand down. If you don't, keep your hand up. Okay. Oh. So, yeah. So look around the room, you know what I see? I see a lot of hands that are still up in the air. You, you can put your hands down. Thank you. So what's, what's going on here? Why, why do the hands stay up? What's missing in these various scenarios? Context. Sorry, what's that? Context. Context, what else? Starts with a C. Connection. 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 Yes, connection. Let me share with you a universal truth. Whenever there's more than one person required to make something happen, nothing, and I mean nothing, happens without connection. So today I'm going to share with you something I call the connection code. It's going to allow you to connect to anybody, anytime, anywhere. And there are three parts of the connection code. My son helped me come up with this. We call it the three B's. It's be vulnerable, be curious, and be dancing. Be dancing. We'll get to that one later. <laughs>